Hello everyone, how you go to our wave? This video is for wild gaming. So basically this is the magic message to you while gaming. I'm just open this crate real quick. So I just want to talk about a few things that you really need to change because if not, no no you get be having no one playing this game at all. It's already done, it's already been out for like three years. Um for an, for example uh the kansas for example let's go to the kansas the mouse player chip ever since one of the updates it's been playing terribly but it's only just started playing real good so what has been the issue with the kansas um right so let's just go into a match uh tier five so i uh it's quite dazzy. So, when people are behind the island, and for you, the bit behind the island, but for some other people, they might not be. So, what you guys need to do, I think, is make sure you cannot see them behind the island, if they're around the island for you. But for other people, they, they can see them, but if they're behind the island... Um, let me just see one more. And actually, another thing I want to talk about is limit the destroyers. Limit how many destroyers are in the game. I think there should be only two destroyers per side. And stop the failed divisions as well. Actually, that that can be really annoying as well for some people. Failed divisions, you need to stop it. The, you need to make sure they can all pick the only ship. The only ship, the only, well, not the only ship, but the tier. You need to make sure it's the old tier they're allowed to pick. So let's say if they pick a 7, and they want to go out in a 6 or an 8, don't allow that. Don't allow them to pick the ship. Make sure it's that only tier. And the other message, well, the other part, part as I was talking, limit the destroyers. See, that's a bit too much. I mean, I'm all out with three, but some some people hate three destroyers. So just limit it, limit it to two destroyers per game. Minimum zero, max two. And when we get back to parts, I just want to talk some things when we get back to parts. But there are some few things I want to talk about while also in the game. If I'm being totally honest as well, I think the Tennessee needs a buff. I think you guys need to really buff the Tennessee up. It just, I used to like when it first, day one when it first released, I loved it. I absolutely loved the ship when I first bought the ship. But ever since one of updates, I think you guys have nerfed it, and it's been terrible. So I think you guys need to buff it, and yeah, and make it how it should be. Make it as good as what it used to be, like that. If I say that was the Iowa, or even my Kelly or the Arizona, that would have near enough death struck to him. But why can why can the Tennessee not? Well, gaming, explain yourself. Yeah, the dispersion is real good. Dispersion is brilliant. I need the dispersion how it is. But, actually, we higher the damage what it can do with the AP. Because, like that, we all drop shots. That's another thing I want to speak, talk about as well. So when you, you fire a ship, bow in, all the shells go either side of the ship, it should be where you aimed, it shouldn't go either direction, it should be where you aimed, so can you actually fix that, because that really annoys some players, it annoys the hell out of them, to me it annoys the hell out of me. But, 
Like that. That gun guard, I shouldn't be able to see him. That needs to be fixed. Because I should not be able to see that Congo. You need to fix that. You guys in Wargaming. Fix that. I know, yeah, that's fine. Let, let him disappear then. Oh, as soon as he goes around the island for me. I shouldn't be able to see him on the island. Yep, that looks good, but probably I'm probably not going to be able to take him out. Oh, surprisingly. And limit how cruisers can set fires as well. That is really annoying. Yesterday when I was playing it, a DeGrasse constantly sent fires to me. Every salvo, you're setting fires after fires after fires. But, what, how, why is that? Why? I know it's a real good fire starter, but limit that. Limit it, how many fights you can get in a salvo. See, when that car Congo has popped up, I should have been able to see him from there. And maybe around there, where how he was positioned. Why have I only just been able to see him now? Again, Wargaming. What? Well, again, Wargaming. Explain that to me. All this thing, you need to explain yourselves. Why is that happening? Am I making a good point? Am I saying the right things? Am I... Should this be changed? To you guys and what I what I personally think. Also, I'm going to email this to you. And also, reply back if you can. And tell me what you guys think to, to the, what I think should be changed. And if you agree with it, change it. Do so. Like I say, as soon as you go to the radio, the ship stops turning, I think. No? That's been changed, which is a good thing. Because you couldn't use a turn as long as you put the radio up. There's some other things I want to talk about, but I cannot remember at this time. This minute of time. Uh, I think carriers. Yes, carriers. The limit how many times you will carry as well. Because they know that they're in the hell out of me. Do carriers. I think you guys have actually kind of spotted with carriers, but yes, it's a good add on. Yes, I do get it. It's a good addition to the game. But limit how many times carriers are in the game. Should, I think it should be like uh, five carriers per. No, no. One carrier, one carrier, like every so often, but not all the time. Some days I've, I'll go on it. I mean, we carry us every single game, and that annoys the living hell out of me. Change that, please. Once you change all these fixes, I'll happily play this all day long. Happily play this all day long. Thing, you can sort out all the cheaters on the game as well. So I've been I've experienced a lot of cheaters lately. And that I think they need to be banned. If some if you guys catch any cheaters or hackers, ban them permanently. Ban them permanently from this game. That'll make the game so much easier. So well not easier right, but just leave the game as a difficulty how, how it is but it should be happier this game it should be more calm and less stressful it shouldn't be as stressful as how it is now to some people also if you see this video 
me, my uncle, and my dad, and all other people for saying, please make this person a community, community contributor. So I'm a real good player. Everybody that watches my videos thinks I'm a real good player. So I think if you guys can make me a community contributor, I'll be so thankful for that. Me, mean if there is uh, age limit, yeah, I get that, but... And I'm 14, by the way, so... If you're wondering what, how old I am. Um, but yeah, if you see this video, please make me a commun community contributor. I'll be so happy if I will. If I, if I do become a community contributor. I really want to be one. I'm good enough to be one. Um, I'll make videos every day on how to play ships, which I do now. I do now. I video and live stream, name enough every day on how to play ships. And some ships, what people haven't gotten that. Yeah. I do tell them how to play and how good it is and what I think of it. So I think I'll be good enough to be a community contributor. If you really, cause I, I really want you guys to add me as a community contributor. Also, when new ships come out, and also uh, community contributors get new ships to test out for people. Also, do videos for them. I will honestly do videos for them. I'll give them my honest reviews if they should buy it, if they should get it, if it's good enough to get, if and that on all that stuff so i think i'll be a real good player for the i also do think i'll be real good enough for the community contributor also to what you guys think and and that so also if i think it's a good ship i'll buy it myself i'll also get it myself I think it's a good enough ship. Will it if it's a terrible ship? No. But yeah. Community country builder, I've always been wanting to be one. Ever since I've been start ever since I started playing this game, I've always wanted to be a community country builder. So look at that, I'm always getting up near the top and that. It's very rare I go down near bottom now. The other times I go down bottom is if I play terrible that game, which everybody does. At some point, but yeah, third at leaderboard. Very common for me that. So, the one thing I'm real concerned about, and one thing I really, really hope you guys take off, is this. Why did you add it? I don't know. But when new people come into the game, they shouldn't know where the citadels are. That's just gonna that's spoiling the game completely while gaming. Absolutely spoiling it. This needs to be taken off like as soon as an update comes. As soon as this update comes, this needs to be taken off. Cause it's ruining people's day on this game. Cause they can see where the citadels are for the new people. They shouldn't be they shouldn't be be allowed to do that. Why should they have to look at citadels? The new people. Why should they have to look at the citadels? And know where they are. They need to work it out like I did. Like my uncle did. Like my dad did. We worked it out. We learned where there was. We learned every ship. And that's one thing. That really concerns me about this game. Is why is that on, why is that on there? It shouldn't be there. Um, another thing, Italians, Italian ships. So I think the rear on and the cruisers needs to be lowered down to like, say, I don't know, uh, eight seconds max. No, not eight seconds min, minimum, um, ten seconds max, I think. Tops, leave it how they are. 
But I think the range could do a nerfing down a bit. So, top range needs nerfing down a bit. Bit too high. Uh, reload a bit quicker. Uh, speed a bit quicker. And now the battleships. Battleships. This is where the problem begin begins. For the Italians. Yeah, excellent reward. Excellent reward. Don't get me wrong. I love the reward of them. But with how easy they are to sit down. Which I don't think you can change that, but oh well. Just leave the armor and everything on it. But at least both. At least both. The range on it. The range needs to be buffed up. For a tier 5 it should be 18 kilometers. For the tier 6 I sort my tier 6 one. For the tier 6 it's 14.3. Why is it that? That is so low. That should be at 18.5. Maybe 19. I even saw Mazava because he was that bad. 13.3. No. 14.5 for the real seconds. Why? Just why? That needs to be buffed up. I think that should be around 11 seconds to 10, maybe 9 seconds. Ugh, sorry about that, just that sneeze. Um, the, uh, ah, the French. Why do these have don't have smoke? Why do these not have some smoke? The uh, destroyers. Every other destroyer in the game has smoke, apart from French. Um, another thing. Why price the carry is so pricey? For like normal tier three, that's like two cents for that. So yeah, it's fifty k. Just 50,000 for tier now tier 3. But for our tier 3, can we get 270k? Why? 6.4 million for our tier 5. For now tier 5, it's 2.4. That's 2 million more. Lower the prices to the actual normal price of what you price the other ships. Now, I mean, for now tier 6, that could be lower to like 5 million. Uh, right, let's go to the price what I think they should be at. So, what's the Americans? Tier 1, free. Tier 2's, uh, 10k. Tier 3's, 50, how they are. Tier 3 carriers, 50k. Tier 4's, 30, how they are. Tier 5's, 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 30, yeah, 100,000 for tier 4s. Uh, tier 5s, I think. So they should be at 500,000. Carriers, 500,000. Tier 6s, instead of a 9 million, it should be uh, one, one, just 1 million for the tier 6s. Just for tier 6 is now I think it should be 1 million. Tier 8 is 1.5 million. Carrier 1.5 million. And the tier of 8 should be, I think, 3 million. Maybe 5. 3 to 5 million. For all the ships. Same tiers, same price to how I set them. I think that'll be perfect price. A lot more people do enjoy the ships. And the real good ships. So why price them so high? That's my question. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I'm just saying. Now, the Pan European Destroyers. Why is the tops only 6k damage? That they are useless. 
put them at the, the normal, uh, what's, uh, Russian. No, go to, uh, Japanese. Uh, go to Google more. 20k damage. Sounds perfect. I mean, a bit, a bit too much, but, but to you, that's good. British, it's 15k damage. Uh, what about the tier 5 one, Icarus? Uh, 15k, that's perfect. That's a perfect damage. About 102 seconds for tops. Mow that down, at least. Um, but yeah, I think that's all my concerns about this game. Uh, the doubloons, actually, the doubloons. So I think for the doubloon ships, uh, I think these could be lowered down a bit more. For tier fours, it should only be like three thousand doubloons. Tier threes only nine hundred and fifty doubloons. Eight, put them on the doubloons on the ships, premium ones. Uh. Tier 8 ones, uh, not too price, uh, I'd say, uh, 60,000 doubloons. Uh, sevens, yeah, just everything else, for perfect price. Seven, for the Massachusetts, I think it should be, uh, a good 40,000. For tier sevens, why is that? Why is there an Atlanta and Atlanta for go back speed? Why? Why? Just why? Um, I think it should be just same price as the other ones. Uh, yeah, twelve thousand five hundred for that one, but go back speed for that one. Why war game and that's a bit silly. For tier seven I think it for all the bones well for all tier seven ships. For the bones I think it should be this. Seventeen thousand five hundred. Perfect price. Perfect. But why five hundred K for one Benham and the bones on other Benham? That makes no sense whatsoever. No sense. Uh, same with the uh, Alabama, 17,500. In Japanese, Yahagi. Why is that for Global XP? Should it be see, same price or 3,000 of bones? For the tier falls. Same with that, and that, and that. Uh, and that one. That's a British. Same with this one, make them doubloons. Odin and Elbing. Um, Turpits. Make them doubloons. Champagne, make doubloons. Uh, Gas Gascon, make doubloons. Cutters of made the bones, Stanga made the bones, um, Krasna Kree made the bones, uh, Rama made the bones, Paola Melia made uh, the bones, Moya made the bones, Friesland, leave it, leave it how it is, I think, for Friesland. Or if you want to nerf it a bit, yeah, make it to the bones if you're going to nerf it. Um, but yeah, that's all my concerns really. So I hope you, I hope you watch this, and I hope you really do fix this game. Uh, what I've said, and I really hope, please, make me a community contributor. I'll be so happy. And that's all I could ask for. So see you later. And if I have more concerns, I'll I'll let you wargaming know. And peace out.